Running a restaurant has always seemed like a fun idea to us. Picking the menu, the layout of the tables, and being able to bring people together looked like a blast until we watched a cooking show. I'm watching you like a f***ing whore. I know you, you are, why? Do you know why? I don't know, Jeff. I want you out. You, 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 f*** off out of here. Me. Me. How about f*** you? What are you? An idiot sandwich. Whoa. Okay, so even though that looked way harder than we expected, we still all felt like a Yes Theory restaurant had to exist for at least a night. And then we saw this video. This is going to be the site of the fictitious restaurant, The Shed at Dulwich. I want to get The Shed at Dulwich for number one on TripAdvisor. For seven months, Vice reporter Uber Butler tricked TripAdvisor. You became the number one restaurant in London. If I can turn my garden shed into a restaurant, then anything is possible. What this made us realize is that we don't need a fancy location, dozens of chefs and waiters to open a five-star restaurant. All we needed was a backyard. Now, that same week, we got an email from a chef called Max who actually watches our videos who said this. I've dreamt of running my own restaurant my whole life, and I want to challenge you, Yes Theory, to turn your backyard into a restaurant in 24 hours. I'll be the chef. What do you say? And we answered, F yeah. So we put all the pieces together to create what we were hoping to be the highest reviewed restaurant in Venice in one night. Our challenge includes creating our own menu, getting food straight from the market, transforming our backyard into something that could look like a restaurant, having total strangers come dine by Saturday night, and of course, we needed the perfect name for Venice's first five-star restaurant. What should our restaurant be called? Have we decided? Yes, table? Yes, kitchen? Yes, table? So, with the perfect name, we invited Max over to begin the planning of the grand opening of Yes, table. What we should do is have like a reunion of the people that have said yes to our episodes in the past and try and bring everybody together. Well, yeah. those people and a combination with strangers. Yeah. You should not be allowed to sit next to somebody you yeah. already know. Yeah. The goal is at the end for people to ask us to do this again. And be the number one rated restaurant, restaurant in Venice yeah, yeah. that I night. I think I should call someone for live music if we're gonna go all out for this. All right, so this is one of my friends from USC, Hannah Bowers. Yeah, dude, she could come and like be up there yeah. Yeah. on guitar. The thing is also, we're not gonna charge anyone for this dinner. It's not about making money. It's about the community, bringing the community together and eating good food. Exactly. Hi, uh, my name is Thomas Bragg. We want to turn our backyard into a restaurant. Yeah, so we'll do five tables. We'll bring down the silverware from four mm -hmm. sets to three sets. And you are at 694.83. What do you think, Amar? If we win the highest reviews, then we gotta we gotta do this legit. So let's just do it. We're bringing in all of our ad sense. It's all good. <laughs> Most of our budget is gone. So let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, serve no food. <laughs> yeah. no, all right. First task is we gotta clear up the entire backyard. It's packed with our old furniture, and all of that's gotta go. The furniture has arrived. It's a huge truck. This is looking more legit. By the way. Crazy how one man's idea can become reality within 48 hours. Can't believe it. Next thing is <laughs> food. Alright, so this is the second grocery store we've tried to find these damn cookies that we need for the dessert. You can't no. make the dessert without these cookies. It's like making a cake without cake. Grocery store number three. What'd you oh, find? You just want to make sure you can get all. We only need four, but we need to pick the best one. All we need to do now is wake up at 2 a.m. and get fish. 1.30. We have to be there at 2 a.m. Great. So whose idea was this to wake up at 1.30? <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. It literally just opened. Yeah. So let's do it. One forty two eighteen for just the salmon. Yes, sir. Damn. I did it. We did it. Good luck well, on your venture. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. It's two fifty two. Oh, my God. We have to cook in like seven hours. All right, so we're gonna invite 
pretty much as many of the strangers as we can that we filmed episodes with because a lot of them have become good friends of ours. We just went to the fish market this morning, got like the biggest salmon of our that we've ever seen in our lives. Like we have a head chef, starts at 7.30. Our goal is to become the number one rated restaurant in LA tonight. Wait, that's amazing. So is that a yes? Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Woo! Alright, perfect. Dude, if this has five star reviews with like 20 plus reviews, if we ever want to open a restaurant, we'll be able to. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. They'll just look at the reviews and be like, you guys have five stars. You boys about to go get some more strangers? Hell yeah, we're about to go get some more strangers. Just get in my face, Thomas. Another day, another group of strangers. Would you like to join us for dinner tonight? We're heading out back to LA. No worries, man. It's 12.40. We've only made cake. We still have the salmon, the salad. Attention, everyone. Yes? I have a proposal. My roommates and I have turned our backyard into a restaurant, creating a meal for 30 strangers to join us. Dinner is at 7.30. Let us know. We'll give you the rest of the details. What kind of food? It's a vegetarian salmon uh, oysters. oysters. Four more to go. Perfect. Cheers. Have a good one, guys. Time for the salmon. Boom. Fresh. Yeah, my roommates are turning our backyard into a restaurant tonight. <laughs> I am having a internal freak out right now. We're looking at like a three and a half hour journey. So Thomas, if we can stop filming and get back to cooking, that would be great. <laughs> we are turning our backyard into the most pleasant dining experience in LA. So Sounds amazing. You guys should come. There are another five peeps. Bring Let's them. do it. Just bring them. I think we're good on strangers. We've, like, I think we're at 12 now. Yeah. Job done already? I guess we've gone for like 20 minutes. Good job, boys. Proud of you. Happy we killed it. Kennedy. Nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you. You're an hostess? Yes. Yeah. We're good. Cool. We have our musician yeah. here. Uh, Hannah's gonna be uh, picking up, up the guitar. Time to see. Good to see you. I'm like freaking stressing out right now. Yes. Just the rice needs to start cooking. We haven't even started that. We have no idea what we're doing. I'm cooking it. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so Max how we're keeps telling it. me the things I need to do, but I keep forgetting. You're waiting? Okay. Wait, were you, you're waiting? I'm, no, you're waiting! I'm bar waiting or cooking? I don't know, dude. I'm gonna start the oysters. They take anywhere from five to eight minutes and they're supposed to be served very hot. When you deliver the oysters, you take away the entree plates. It's just rice, dude, chill. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably be cooking. <laughs> Staff meeting in the editing room! Hey! <laughs> Staff meeting! Tonight we have to create the best dinner in the world. And by world I mean just Los Angeles, so maybe our neighborhood, I don't know. We need to offer the clients the most pleasant dinner they've ever had. You can probably cut out of the joke yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I've done an excellent job Woo. by putting this together. That's the job. Yeah. You know, rock it and hopefully get five stars and get the number one rated restaurant in Venice tonight. Yes, they are three! One, two, three! Yes, yes they are! All right, team, let's go. Woo! The best, most pleasant dining experience in LA tonight. Let's go. Woo! Hi, Thomas. Hi, Good to meet you guys. Welcome to Yes Table. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. A part of the amazing service that we're offering our guests tonight is fair greeting the guests. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my gosh, he's wearing a bow tie. That is a Welcome to Yes Table. Hey. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! And it's always weird that I have to start with explaining who we are because sometimes some of the guests that show up to events that we throw are people who we just meet on the street outside. We're just a group of friends who make videos together around the themes of saying yes and getting people out of their comfort zone, getting ourselves out of our comfort zone. And tonight we're surrounded by our tribe, surrounded by people who have said yes to us in the past, like Ridvik. He said yes to skinny dipping with us. Yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, I'd like to uh, invite people to their tables, try and break people up, have you guys sit next to people you've never met before. Bon appetit. We are about to get started on our first course for 30 people. I still can't believe this is happening. This is the menu for tonight. Look at that pour. <laughs> We got fire roasted oysters with wasabi butter. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. It's good. Is it actually? The food is exquisite. The oysters are delicious. Wow. I think we're a legit restaurant, guys. 100% mm. a five star restaurant. Mm. I'll have what I'm having. I'll have what I'm having. I'll have what I'm having. What are you doing? I'm so hungry. Yeah, I am too. Thomas, oh, yeah. he's eating 
all the food. Amar, you can't eat all. There's plenty more guests that need food. <laughs> hey, hey, what? Who, who let this guy in? My pockets are full of salad. <laughs> The vinaigrette is to die for. Running a little bit behind schedule right now, but just a little bit, just a little bit. This is uh, more stressful than I expected. Are people impatient? Kind of. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we forgot to do that. All right, if that one's done, let me get below you. Then. Is this the most you've ever cooked for people? Oh yeah. To cook for 30 people outside of like a kitchen that barely serves the people that live in the house? Yeah. These guys absolutely murdered it. Thank you so much, guys. First batch of the main course. The main course has arrived. Woo! Yeah! 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 Oh, on the first one. Oh, yeah. Dr. Wendy. Yeah. 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 Probably the best salmon I've ever had. It's so good. Yeah. 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 Great salmon, great time. Thank you, yes, Taylor. <laughs> All right, guys. So the goal of tonight was was to get to be the highest reviewed restaurant of the night. So if you guys pull out your phones and go to Google Maps and give us your honest review. Google Maps. Yeah. Oh, two reviews, two reviews already. Now we're talking. This yeah. table is undoubtedly LA's hottest new restaurant. Boy. Well, it's sad that it's the last course, but uh, big shout out to the yesterday guys for like making this dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, me. I've never had zebra cake before, but I'm officially on board. Best zebra cake ever. Here, look, I'm gonna take a picture so we can have this in the review. We're getting picture reviews. That's big. Would any of you guys like additional cocoa powder on top of your cake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy to just like be bringing so many people who all said yes and the best part of yes theory is using it to bring people together. Oh, We've got 23 reviews of five stars. So oh. we did it. Let's go. Thank you so much for coming and uh, we'll see you at the next Yes Table pop-up. Yeah. It was the coolest thing to wake up to 26 five-star reviews ranking as the only restaurant in Venice with five stars. But we now wanna take this challenge to the next level. So if you own a restaurant or know anybody that owns a restaurant and you'd be interested in potentially hosting a Yes Table pop-up for a night, email us at yestablerestaurant at gmail.com and who knows, maybe Yes Table will come run your restaurant for a night. And if you wanna win the chance to join us at the next Yes Table, follow us on Instagram for more details. We'll see you on Sunday.